This is one of those videos that I truly hoped that I would never have to make, but here we are. What's up everyone, John from Beyond AR TV. I'm coming at you today with a video that I just, I couldn't shy away from. I know I have some personal ties to this person, but when I see something that is not good, I have to call it out, like 110%. I just got done listening to the new song from Jared Alonji. I actually gave it a few listens. I gave it a chance. It's called Shinebox. He's got an album that he's apparently trying to get funded. I'm still waiting on my copies of Beating a Dead Corpse and the Sunrise Hater Kids and all of these other albums that I have pledged towards but have never received my gold wax pressings of these. I even joined the $10,000 tier to go bird watching and hunt in the Alaskan mountains with Jared for one of the pledges, and I never even heard back from him on it. But that's besides the point. I did support his projects in the past, and I went into this despite knowing the fact that Jared has $10,000 of my money that I will never see again, and he probably spent it on God knows what. Probably white walls for the music video for Shinebox. So this song is just so... 2000s. It's so of an outdated era, and it's like, ugh. Like, we get it. The 2000s existed. I'm so far removed from that era that it doesn't even make sense to retread in those waters. I think that the only saving grace here is the fact that he somehow has coerced this Lauren girl into doing vocals for his project. This is something that's been ongoing, and this new track, Shinebox, is just really testing my patience for what kind of music are we going to put up with. It's 2018. We had a bad 2017. And here he is putting out this song Me. and then starting a Kickstarter asking for our hard-earned money. I don't think so. I don't think that's how it works. I don't think that's how it's going to go down at all. Obviously, I'm a big fan of Jared. We've worked together before, and he actually reached out to me asking if I would like to help him promote his new single, and obviously the Kickstarter project that he's doing for his upcoming Crazy 88 album. Crazy 88, that's the name of the band that he's got. It's him, Lauren Babasic? Babasic? I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Patty Walters from As It Is did join the band. I wasn't kidding about that. So they're now a three-piece. They have a drummer that's in the music video as well. I'm assuming that's a session drummer. And I actually am a big fan of this track. I thought it was even a step up from some of their first stuff that they had done. I liked a lot of the covers, like the Lord Perfect Places cover, The Kill by 30 Seconds to Mars. Uh, they've done some great covers, and I even like some of their original tracks, like Tommy's Planet. And th this one is more aggressive. It has a lot of, like, blood just boiling in its veins, and I think that Lauren's vocals really carry this track big time. She gets vicious, and I think that even Jared Alagi on backing vocals sounds fantastic here. I like his guitar work. It gets intricate. I love the breakdowns towards the end and the fact that the song doesn't just follow the typical scenario and set up for a track. It breaks the norms, and it's a really, really cool music video as well. I had to mock it for the opening part because obviously this video is called Roasting Jared Alonji or whatever I decided to title it. But I genuinely do think it's a good song. And even though Jared's not paying me to do this, I wanted to help a friend out and put it out there in the world that if you want to support Jared Alonji on Kickstarter, he has all sorts of cool packages and perks. I'm talking merch and all this other stuff. Yes, there is a $50,000 goal, but if you look at the breakdown of it, there's actually a bunch of money that goes into making a full-length album and sending out all of these rewards. In fact, I would say a lot of that price right there, obviously Kickstarter takes their fee, so you gotta include that as well. And obviously a lot of it goes towards reward fulfillment for you guys when you support the project. So if you would like to get their upcoming album, help them get to their $50,000 goal. It is all or nothing. If they don't get to the goal, then they don't get any of the money and the album doesn't get made. They're more than halfway at the time of recording this video. Let's give it a push. Let's keep going. And Jared, you owe me one now. Next time I need a push on something, I'm hitting you up. Anyways, guys, in all seriousness, I love Shinebox. Go check out his Kickstarter project. Top link in the description down below. Other than that, I'll see you very soon right here on Beyond AR TV. Thanks, Jared.